confetti. Streamer here with airplanes, bugs, flowers, cars, people, guitars, little bits and pieces of this and that. Then they ask those spiders, birds, crawfish, ducks, city streets, buildings, lakes, and trees. What do you think it all means? Soap opera, what? Soap opera, villains, heroes, bodyworks, weird visual stuff, weird oral stuff, music, water, rocks, flying saucers, UFOs, street festivals, confetti, 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 confetti. Surfaces that look like they've been kind of abused, or well, even something like this. I mean, I don't, I'm not sure what's going to happen with the background, but I'll take a perfectly good piece of plywood and then start distressing it, you know, punching holes into it, taking a saw, scratching it up. Uh, as a matter of fact, this is entire shape was covered with writing at one time. I just took a phrase, The Loss of Innocence. I thought that was a good title for a particular painting I was hoping to mount on this. And I just started writing it across in ink like hundreds and hundreds of times and finally I decided, no, that didn't look good and painted it over. And that's kind of that, that graffiti, you know, symbols. And, uh, Sometimes I'll play that off, you know, against a real smooth surface, you know, something that looks rough, almost like, um, you know, old furniture mm -hmm. or something that's antique, you know, it has a has a patina, it has a surface, it's been it's been weathered, it's uh, it's lit, it's been around, it's gone through several transmogrifications. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It was green, then it was painted red, then it was painted blue, then, then it was worn away, and um, somebody repainted it, or they missed a spot, or they added something to it, and then it was later uncovered. In other words, it, it kind of has gone through changes. It's it's moving, it's breathing, it's shifting, and I like that. I don't like art that's real static. I guess you could. I guess you could make that comparison with the way it looks, you know, and the way that I would like it to be felt. Um, almost all these surfaces, these metal surfaces, have already had another life, previous life, you know. Was well, any particular artist who, who, a famous artist, the average person would know about that has the opposite view that they would want things static and everything polished and... Oh, yeah. Um, well, I guess, I mean, in a sense, you know, you could say Salvador Dali, his surfaces are so perfect, perfectly painted and smooth and, and almost where you can't see the brushwork, but I wouldn't necessarily call him static, I would say. And the same with Magritte, you know. The, um, that the, the idea is shifting and changing and the way that they've distorted the, the image creates a, a sense of movement in a, in a way, I guess. But the surface itself is very smooth, is very finished. I think Matisse and Picasso, a lot of their work, it has a lot of changes that you can see. You can look at the work and see earlier changes, you know, changes of view, uh, change their mind, they're not afraid to let it show. No, uh, once I finish something, I take it out of here for the most part. Um, I don't want it to confuse me. I'm confused enough with all these, all these images in their different states of, you know, partial or almost, almost resolution. Uh, some things are barely begun, some things are have been kicking around and, and just kind of looking at me for a long time. Um, 
No, when I finish something, I'll take it out in the hallway or, or else the other room. Sometimes just uh, put it out somewhere and, and look at it for a while. Um, or live with it, or sometimes just turn it to the wall and bury it, you know, in a pile of other work. Um, Although, the, you know, there are a couple of exceptions to that. There, there are one or two paintings hanging up that I feel pretty good about just kind of keeping in my workspace. Yeah. So do they represent uh, directions that you want to keep going in or just a nice uh, breath of fresh air when you take a break from something you're currently working on? I guess the things that I have around here maybe would be more the former. Um, you know, if they are finished, and I'll keep them in the space. Things that are kind of tangents that I'm not necessarily following. You know, kind of unique works. Yeah. But, okay. Would you point out an example? Well, like this one here. It's still life. Yeah. Or or that one in the corner over there, painting with the, the symbols. It's a difficult call, you know. I can't, can't have too much of my stuff around, and I really get confused. I like cleaning up and straightening up every once in a while, and walking in, and just having you know, almost a clean slate. But then, then I might bury something that I've been working on, some kind of inside I've made, you know? and I want to excavate that for months. Or weeks. You know, I'm not careful. I can lose lose a certain tra train of thought that I had going. Um, but. So if you do lose a train of thought, is it, is it just uh, momentary for a couple of days, or do you eventually return to it? Oh, it depends. I've got a lot of a lot of little. Uh, Tributaries, you know, branch out, and uh, some of them get get bigger and more fully realized, and others just kind of stay as little offshoots. I did this drawing with Mike Nordos. I'll probably put this up, you know, and look at it. It's really easy for work on paper to just get buried in, or stuck in a drawer somewhere. Uh, do you have a real old piece in here that, that you keep up? That's a good question. here uh, for a while so it's it's had staying power as far as either providing inspiration or providing uh... uh actually some of the older works that are still around are probably things that I've just been I've either forgotten about or been too lazy to take down you know, this drawing's been up for about five years probably and uh... and this one's probably been up even longer but I hardly really even look at them not even that aware of. Them. I spend a lot of time these days taking some of my found elements and shifting them around, you know, around the painting. Um, I might even do a little painting today if you're up for it. <laughs> 